My name is Chris Youngston. I'm the executive director of Unchained Talent. Key, the core part of what I do is um, the performing arts and mentoring programming. Unchained Talent is six years old, and um, we've really built and established something here um, in response to the fact that there hadn't been any performing arts here at the school for 10 years prior. Um, Bel Air Edison's just to the east, and Chum is just to the west, so we've got neighborhoods north, south, east, and west of here that the kids come from. The Kresge grant we applied for uh, was for a particular project that we did last fall, and the um, theme of the show was um, striving and surviving. That's what we intended, uh, entitled the show as well. Um, and the idea was, what are the kids' personal motivations? Um, what are their struggles? And what are they striving for? And um, so again, the young people wrote their own original uh, monologues, plays, um, dances, raps, songs that they performed in a um, sort of a talent showcase format and everything tied to that theme of striving and surviving. So we sat down together and we um, talked about what was going on in their lives that was most important, most pressing. Some people just felt like, you know, sort of that thought of like giving up, you know, like life is too hard, we've got a lot of struggles going on. And so the question was, well, okay, who are you? And, you know, is, does this define you? And um, where are you going? So um, we had a lot of uh, free writing and a lot of, you know, guided writing and focused writing and uh, improv and all kinds of different kinds of um, exercises in the theater element um, to explore the themes. And a lot of the kids sit in on that, even if they're in, like, the dance program or the, the recording studio. And then the, the theater program tends to be sort of collaborative um, together. The kids tend to make something that they perform together. But it is often made up of little pieces of young people's work. So write different things, they look at what they've got, they weave it together, they sew it together, and then the next thing you know you've got a production. You know, and there's the element on the stage, there's the element on the writing, um, there's the element on reading other people's works, there's the element on the lighting, the sound, the costumes, the props, the makeup. It teaches like a thousand things. It teaches you to work together. It teaches you to deal with your emotions. It teaches you to project manage. I also feel like the theater is very, very fluid. So you can have a young person walk in the door and they can be on stage that day working. So it's not something you have to like piano. You have to like train and train and train and train. You know, all of us have a little bit of theater in us. In short, theater imitates life in a lot of ways. What you see on the stage is a reflection of what's happening, at least the way that we do it, where the young people are writing about their own experiences, is a reflection of what's happening in the community. And I think that's a very powerful way to reflect back to the audience.